to strengthen the competence of local leaders and deepen inclusive collaborations to enhance grassroots governance. The leadership of Ojelewo Ojuwe Municipality organized a high-level leadership summit and stakeholders engagement, which was held at Bade Event Center. Political heavyweights and critical stakeholders from relevant organs, including religious institutions, traditional institutions, and community development associations were in attendance. The council chairman, Razak Ajala, said the summit aimed at building the capacity of community members through educative orientation targeted at enhancing grassroots governance. We have no role or the other to ensure we have a community we can truly call our own. A community we all be proud. You should see this government as a government and we should do everything humanly possible to ensure you continue to give the necessary support system to us. Various speakers made insightful contributions on how an inclusive, decentralized and improved governance structure can be actualized. It's not only limited to the rules in governance, and it also involves the government too. So we have everybody working together, and if everybody works assiduously together, things will be a lot better for us. When you talk about science, you know, you talk about uh, the atom and that the atom is made up of nucleus and protons and the rest of it. So those are the building foundation or the building block of any society. The CDA is the building block of any society. So we need to let them know the importance of the connection between what the government intends to do for the people and what the people are supposed to do in terms of their relevance, the importance, as well as letting the population know how government works. Robust deliberative sessions were also had on how to achieve effective grassroots governance and the roles of community development associations. Another highlight of the summit was the unveiling of the Odiolowo Joye Kies Initiative, a social intervention program targeted at senior citizens, widows and people with disabilities. I want to assure you, using the platform of our leader, Senator, as of we are launching what we call Odiolowo Joye Kies. This program will be on board 3,000, I repeat it, 3,000 into Odiolowo Joye Social Intervention Program. And the programs are from Arubo two for the physical challenge, three for the widows, and we have another 1,000 that we call health insurance scheme for the vulnerable in various communities in Otolobo, Otolobo. Council officials and prominent attendees remarked on the significance of the stakeholders' engagement, the roles of the CDAs in decentralized and community-spirited governance, as well as the need for increased community participation in governance. Importantly, uh, all of them are leaders. That's why they take leadership training. But they don't realize really they are leaders. That's why I appeal to them to take ownership of this training, take ownership of, of the government facilities in their, loca in their, in their, in their local, local area. It means it's their own. They should own it. The, the road, pipe on water, street light, PSC. Or speak to and what are the all government projects within the advocacy should be owned by the people. We talk about health program. If you take the ownership, you make use of it. So even they will tell them the home and they can start free of charge, they will do so. But if they believe this is their program, they go there, make use of it. The government do if they are paying for another hospital, the money will not be wasteful. Even with this role, they should believe and take the ownership. And that's the key, you know, that's what I told them. They should make sure they take good ownership of what is happening here today. I was by the CDA and the community of Odoro in general. Not everything they will be waiting for the government for. A little thing within their community, they can easily do it. Everything is not by, everything is not by government. You have to have your own impact in the community. They should try and do something in the community, not all the time, government, government, government. That's my own advice for now. The people of the various community to take ownership 
of the, uh, of the project being executed on their behalf and to see themselves as part and parcel of our system and to use the instrumentality of the advantage position to ensure they put everyone they voted for on their toe so that they can continue to do the needful and right. Because that's the only thing we can do if truly we want a Nigeria that works for all. The summit will foster inclusivity and consolidate the unprecedented development overseen by the Razak Ajala-led administration in Ojilu Ojiwoye OCDA over the last seven years.